everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yadi, and this is Yadi Angel Art. Today, we'll review the Sun and Tree Colors Karen Brush Marker Pro Set, and I'm going to share some brush marker techniques for banners. So, let's get started! First things first, I'm going to put down some swatches and we can see how all of these colors turned out. And they are vibrant. I had so much fun blending these out. The colors are very natural and gorgeous. One color that took me by surprise was the cinnamon. When I blended that one out, it had like green streaks in the wash. So that was a little weird, but that was the only color that did that. And when I first put it down, it looked a little uh, green tinted. But looking at the dried marker now, it does look way more brown than it did initially. So it's always important to give your colors a chance to dry before you can really see what they look like. But yeah, the rest of these colors blended out really nicely. The only color that gave me trouble was lush green and you can see it in the video that I just could not get it to blend out into the water just right. I even went back in a little later and tried it again to see if it was me, if maybe I was taking a little too long or not using enough water but I still couldn't blend it out. Uh, it might be a paper issue and I didn't really try it on a different paper so I might have to do that but if you guys have any suggestions for other things I should try to get this color to blend out please let me know. And then the last two colors aren't part of the Sun and Tree set. You guys might have seen these colors in my last video. Uh, they're just two extra colors that I also bought just so I had like a red and a blue to add to this set. So this is how the swatches came out. I am so in love with these colors and I can't wait to move on to the next step. So next I'm going to share some techniques for these brush markers with you guys and I'm going to be painting on a floral postcard watercolor page. So for the first technique we're going to look at a one way to make gradients. There's a few other ways to do this but this one seemed the most fun to me. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to share some of the other ways but uh, for this technique you'll want to get two markers. Generally a light shade and a darker shade is going to work best for this. And then I took the lighter shade and I put it on the bottom and I put the darker shade and I placed it on top and I kind of let the pigment seep into the light marker. And then I took that light marker and I painted with it. And it's just about this point where I realize that brown on a flower <laughs> makes it look like it's dying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I just keep moving on with that. Uh, if you look closely though, that gradient is beautiful. It works really well for hand lettering too. That's a really nice, easy way to get gradients. Oh, oh, before I forget. So when you do this, this gradient technique, you might end up having some pigment stained on one of your markers. One really great way to get rid of that is to just take an extra piece of paper and kind of scribble onto there to get rid of that color. I decided to do that but I did it into my little sketchbook because I figured that I could then use that page to create like a whole wash and play around with it and that way it doesn't feel like the pigment was wasted. So for the next technique we'll kind of be using the markers like we would be using paint. So I just grabbed the box that these came in but you're just gonna want to look for any like slippery surface like a palette or like a plastic bag even that could work. And just rub the marker on that surface like I did and then I took my brush and I picked it up and you could see I painted on the page. I was actually surprised by how much ink it soaked up. Then for the next technique, we'll be picking color up again, but this time I used my watercolor brush and I dabbed it straight onto the brush marker. And if you do it that way, you can get a bit of a stronger color than if you were to put it on the surface. So 
So I decided to take that dying rose effect <laughs> and really uh, pushing it as far as it can go. Like, might as well just go with this. I found these are really, really good to layer with. I was having so much fun. <laughs> this was just supposed to be like a quick exercise for you guys, but I really got sucked into this. I just love the way the colors came out once you layer them together. Oh my god, they're so vibrant. For my next technique, I put down water first onto this rose on the right, and then I took the marker and placed it on the pool of water, so you can kind of see it spread a little bit. And then I spread it some more with my own brush, and that's basically the wet on wet technique. And you can always just layer things on with the brush directly on the page. That just will get you very vibrant colors. So if you're trying to go for a, like a watercolory feel, that might be your last step. Or you might want to consider, like I did, blending it out with water a little bit for your first few steps. Okay, so for our next and final technique, this is a really simple way for you to maybe create backgrounds or cards. So you're going to want a relatively large slippery surface. So maybe like a plastic baggie would be good. I'm using the cover to an old five star notebook. <laughs> so yeah, just anything that you can find that is slippery enough for the paint to not soak through. And then I used a little pad of watercolor paper. I picked three colors. You can pick as many or as little colors as you want, but maybe like a minimum of two would still make it like really fun. <laughs> and then uh, you'll take a water spray bottle and spray those colors so that it kind of makes them bead. I might have sprayed them a little too much, so you might want to spray them for your first try like one less time than I sprayed them. <laughs> and then you'll take the paper and like slowly put it down and then try and like press on it. And that's what you'll come up with. And it looks like a super cute, random, colorful background wash. Oh, and here I'm just kind of dabbing the water out so that it dries properly and more evenly. So I'm just taking like a dry brush and I'm soaking up the extra water. But so these would make super cute backgrounds for hand lettering, like I think I said before, or like title text if you're trying to like play with font or anything like that or I thought it would be super cute for journaling or if you're trying to make like a cute random card to give to somebody I don't know this just oh these are so beautiful and you can do so many things with so many colors you could even try different like patterns and stuff and see how things turn out and yeah it's so simple for what it comes out with so yeah I was really excited to show this to you guys. So I wanted to take the wash piece a little bit further and do a little writing on it. And it is just about here where I definitely should have stopped. <laughs> but no, I thought that we could use a little more color and here's where I think I ruined this piece. Or rather, I'm not, I'm not happy with what I did to it. It was supposed to be like glitter to add, but I think it really messed with the wash. I, like, I wish I wouldn't have messed with the wash really. So yeah, I wasn't too happy with the end of this, but I thought I would show it to you guys anyway, because <laughs> I think I really want the chance to show you guys times when I don't really love what I made and times when I love what I made so that you see that we all have those moments. But yeah, this is how that came out and here is everything that we worked on so far today. 
This was loads of fun. A lot of it was experimenting for me too. So it was really cool to get to try these out. I hope this inspired you to try some brush markers in new ways. Let me know if you have any techniques that I could give a try. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you had fun with me, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next Saturday for the next one. Bye!